you have some students at Baylor University. It was a, it was a group of them, the brothers and sisters. They wanted to get together, um, have a meet and greet at one of the school's libraries. And, you know, but a security guard interrupted them and ordered the students to pipe down because they were being too loud. Now, his statement at the time was very, you know, racially stereotyped, right? So he told them this is not a basketball arena, it's a study area. Now, you know exactly what he's saying. Now, I say, according to a letter penned by one of the students involved uh, with the group of black students that was singing out for making too much noise in the section of the library that's designated for student interaction. So when the group explained that, that the comment was racist and told security guard that they were allowed to mix and mingle, he called the race soldiers on them. Now, Baylor University is a private Christian school, and I'll just do this. When I hear that word Christian, out of them, because they don't follow no principles of the Bible, none. Because they were true Christians, it wouldn't be no such thing as white supremacy. White supremacy is idolatry and a doctrine of demons. But yet they, they had another controversy because they've been having many controversies at Baylor University, and it was all racial. So the young brother that was wrote it, he said, why do we have to deal with the race soldiers in the area that is designated for us? Um, now you had a one brother, a 21 year old, you know, management major from Aurora, Colorado. He's the one that organized the event by get together. He says a community event for black students on campus is his intention were to bring together upperclassmen and underclassmen students who might not know each other. Basically just it's a, a community event. Let's get to know the brothers and sisters, right? But you know, anytime that we gather, this has been happening from slavery. Okay. Black people gather together to get to know each other or even just to talk about the weather, they start looking, they start looking around and, and, and just look, looking nervous when black people are together. Do you, do you, have you realized that on your job? If you, how many times have you seen that? Well, brothers getting together, sisters getting together, y'all talking and y'all, you, you look up and they all staring at you. Or then what, what one of them would do is try to come up and sound like getting, getting you mixed and see what you got going on. And you're looking at them like, where they come from? You know what I'm saying? Trying to find out all oh, some of them like what could be do like, Hey, y'all kind of, you know, break up and y'all do this. Like that sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? They always been that way. They always say, Oh, no more than two black people gathering together. You gotta, you know, cause they always, they always in their mind cause they, they have a wicked mind. They think thinking black folks about to plan a revolt on them because there's all the evil they've done to black people. That's why a lot of times they think that way. Black folks ain't even discussing nothing like that. They could be talking about the freaking, Super Bowl would have just passed or whatever. That's what they're talking about. But you, you thinking other things. So they don't want black folks to gather. They don't want black folks to talk or anything. And, and, and this, and do you know the race soldier when he showed up and he, and they told the race soldier what happened, the race soldier that showed up said, well, their reaction to this racial stereotype was juvenile. So you just another, one race soldier, right? Doing what race soldiers do. This is why I tell black folks, why submit yourself to that? Why put up with that? Why go to a HBCU and you don't have that problem. See black folks. Once again, I'm going to repeat myself as I said earlier, you got to start valuing black people. You got to start valuing black teachers, black uh, professors. You got to value each other. Just because a Mzungu is around doesn't mean it's a good place for you. Understand? Doesn't mean that. You trying to go to a library to, to, to gather with the brothers and sisters to have some conversations, and here come this white supremacist security guard saying this is not a basketball game. And then the race soldier come and say you acting juvenile because you have said that he literally was racist towards you. Why put up with that? You don't have to. You're paying. And at least you're going to pay, pay and go somewhere where you're not going to be freaking harassed racially. College isn't easy. So the last thing you need is white supremacists harassing you. There's been many brothers and sisters at colleges that have been tased and arrested and all kinds of things for just saying, Hey, what's going on? Why are you treating me this way? We have to stop willingly because it's by choice, willingly putting ourselves in positions with the white supremacists and go to a HBCU enroll you know, check it out. Because like I said, for me, I'm not about to put myself in any kind of position where I got to deal with that. No, social distancing 
It's the best relationship based on history. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. But I hate to hear those kids, you know, going through that. But it is to be expected in Babylon.